In this video, I'm going to talk about IEW, which is a writing curriculum that is used by a lot of homeschoolers and even private schoolers. I am going to look at their theme-based writing curriculum as well as their brand new updated structure and style curriculum. But first, my name is Elani. This is our channel, Living with Eve. I am a homeschool mom of four kids. Youngest does have Down syndrome, and I am here sharing you our journey, and I love this curriculum. Just, I... I, I do. I've been using it, I've gone through five, five different of their curriculum, mostly their theme-based curriculum, and then I fell in love with Structure and Style, which is fairly new. I'm obsessed. I will also share a link down below, which is an affiliate link. You can check it out if you're interested in purchasing this curriculum or anything else by AEW, which a lot of their stuff is absolutely amazing. So make sure you check that out, and I'm just gonna get started right now. We're going to start by looking at both their structure and style on the left and then their ancient history based writing lessons on the right. This is going to be one of their themed studies while this is their structure and style that a lot of you hear about. This is also their new and improved structure and style and it's just it's so much more user friendly. So first of all, both of these do come with a teaching manual and a student manual. The teacher manual for the structure and style is spiral bat based. And then they have the folder right here for the kids to keep track of. And what's great about this structure and style for the kids, they have to keep the folder. You don't keep it. You don't touch it. They keep it. And I think that's a perk for this right here because it takes on ownership. Now, both of these are middle school level. I'm gonna compare them side by side so you can see the similarities and the differences. What is true to IEW style is you're gonna have the same exact order of the unit. So the topics are exactly the same, but the subject material inside of it is going to be a little bit different. This one is definitely themed to ancient history. This is just whatever works. So looking closely at the structure and style, we have unit one, note making and outlines. Over here you have unit one, which is keyword outlines, that's the same thing. So this one you have to actually have the ancient world part one, challenge the, Greek, the great flood. Over here you're working on some board notes, which he, it's all online. It's all online and he does the board notes for you and you don't have to worry about it. But you do the blue ringed octopus, carnivorous plants, and there's a model chart and organizing your binder, which is, I'm gonna show you that binder later because it is very much organized by my son. Unit two, writing from notes. Unit two, writing from keyword outlines, which is, it, that's the same thing. Unit three, retelling narrative stories. Unit three, narrative stories. Unit four, summarizing a reference. Unit four, summarizing. Unit five, writing from pictures. Unit five, writing from pictures. Besides the fact that this is going to be a mix of many different topics and that this is themed, they're pretty much got the same kind of format, so to speak, except this one is online and Mr. Andrew Pudua is teaching it to your kids and not you. This one, you have to do way more research to understand the IEW subject that you may or may not be familiar with and you have to do all the work. You're basically, in a sense, learning with them. So that was the comparison of those two. Now I wanna focus a little bit more on structure and style to give you a good idea on how this program works. Now let's first look at the structure and style teacher manual. Like I said, this is year one, level B, which is the beginning of middle school. I'm gonna pick a random lesson. I'm gonna do unit two, which is writing from your notes. And let's just go down to week three. So week three, the eagle and the jackdaw, kimono dragon. Now they do have a section here with teacher preparation. If you wanna do this, feel free to do this. I did not do this. I do not think it's mandatory, but it is something to kind of help you out. Okay, you may not believe me, but I'm gonna show you something. At the front of the book, they have a little explanation here on how to use the teacher manual, which I think is imperative to read. We always skip these things, don't we? Gray boxes such as this are in the teacher manual and provide extra information for the teacher or teacher parent to help students in the course. So it's mostly for you to learn so you can help the students. Depending on the age 
or aptitude of the student, most participants plan to spend 30 to 60 minutes a day, four days a week, working through the course. Younger or special needs students will need closer to 45 minutes or longer each day. Older or more adept students will find 30 minutes or less each day enough time to complete the assignments. Note that lessons earlier in the year are easier and therefore less time intensive. Trust the system. Don't skip the first assignment. The easier lessons are important for all students as they build confidence and lay an important foundation. You gotta read these, okay? I just did it for you. So hopefully that's gonna help you get started. So there's that, back to week three. And here's the information that the students will have in their binders. Now once again, you know what? They can do this on their own. It might take you the first couple weeks to get them going, but honestly, they read it day one. Watch part one of video three. That's online. That's Mr. Andrew Pudua doing the teaching for you so you don't have to. Read and discuss the eagle and the jackdaw. Begin a keyword outline with the class and complete it independently. Test your uh, keyword outline by reading it to the parents. Remember to speak in complete sentences. Yeah, you may need to hear them read. I've listened to my kids read. But all you really need to do is check their final draft, final copy at the end of the week. And it makes it really easy for you. I'm going to show you. The next page is all in the teacher manual. This is all what he does. This is just for your information right here. And this is the story that they do. Another story that they do on the video. And this is how you check their work. There's also little points in here in the gray box to just kind of help you help them. Like this talks about the binder, this talks about their homework, what they're supposed to do, so you can kind of keep tabs on them. But it's pretty systematic, so once it gets going, you don't have to worry too much about keeping on, especially since Mr. Andrew's talking on there. He's amazing. He is so much more a better teacher than I am, and why not have him as your kid's online teacher? I mean, he's really good, seriously. So then this is week four. Now I do want to point out in this book, there are some color pages you see scattered through, okay? Uh, these things are in the notebooks as big giant papers. And the IEW course is going to want them to be accessible and easy to find in the notebook for your students so they can reference them throughout the course. So that's why they're color coded with some kind of explanation for you. And they're throughout, they're throughout the book. Here's a pink one. Oh, this one comes in handy for real. Now let's look at this beautiful notebook. I notice they all have tabs and this is how your child is going to organize them and they actually do have to organize them right so you open it up and their weeks they're going to be placing these as they go one on top of another so I can tell you right now my son just finished week eight so what I'll do is I'll go to the back and look at that week nine ready to go Captain Cook he will take this and put this sheet in the front right on top of week eight. And so he can reference this throughout the week to know exactly what he has to do each and every day. And once again, this was in your teacher's manual, if you remember. All right, let's look at week nine because this is actually where my son is left off. So we got Captain Cook here. And these are the goals, nice laid out to practice, to practice the unit four structure model, to write a key keyword outline, to write a three paragraph report, and to learn new vocabulary. Okay, there's lots of new vocabulary sprinkled in throughout this stuff, okay? So let's look at day one. He's gonna watch part one of video nine, which he does on his own. You can find it super user-friendly to get online and find it. Then he's going to practice writing, who, which clauses, and number agreements. Now, he, they do that on their own, okay? The video walks them through on how to do this, practice dividing subjects into topics, Read and discuss Captain Cook, noting possible topics and interesting, important, or relevant facts in the margin. And this is optional, complete day one, fix-it grammar. Now, fix-it grammar, they do put along, they have suggested lesson plans for fix-it grammar. If you choose to do it with it, you don't have to. We do fix-it grammar, but we are not in aligned with this book, so. But I love it, it's a great curriculum. You're gonna go to day two, watch part two, see how they, ha they can just do this on their own. You don't have to know what's going on if your child is very independent and efficient. If you do need to know what's going on, on in the class, you can follow those gray boxes that I showed you in the teacher manual. These right here. 
Okay, so I want to show you this is the source text that it comes with. This is what they will read and discuss, right? And they will write a keyword outline from it. And that's it for this lesson because then you get the checklist. And this is really what you need to know. You just go through this, read what it says, and give them the points. There's a suggested point scale online, but like with me, I just I just do the math. I just count and do, you know divide by 100 and see how many points each one is worth. There is a suggested point scale online. So I showed you how each lesson is presented for your student. Let's look at what they do as they go through it. So like I said, you have the copies right on top. The first tab is their source text, and that's gonna be a copy of all the source text from all the different weeks. So this is week seven. They're all in here if he wants to reference any of them. And then we have model charts and outlines. And these are where some of those yellow sheets come into play where he can put these in here so he can reference them. He does have an outline in here. And then you have their final compositions, which usually in this case you will have, well this was the first day they did this. But then you have their rough draft, keyword outline usually goes in here. And then you have their final copy, which I do just because it's me, right? And I mark it up and I give them a grade. Another thing that they do is they have to underline the dress up. So the LY adverb, the who, which clause, those kind of things, they're going to do that throughout. So that's what this is. You'll just kind of get used to it as you follow along with the checklist. And it builds upon itself. So once you learn one thing, it, it stays in there. And you're going to see it again the following week. Once you're done with that, stylistic technique. I have no clue why these are in here and what they represent, to be honest. They're dress-ups, sentence openers. And he copied it and did his own. I don't know. He just... He's very independent, which is a good thing, totally a good thing. These are some more LY adverb word list. The next tab is a whole section for banned words right here. He wrote a list of banned words. Then we have punctuation and usage. Nothing in here yet, but it's coming, I'm sure. And this is the end of all the work that he still has left to do. So to break it down, if you are looking for a writing program that's going to be very theme-based and you don't really mind teaching it to your kids, you have time, you really like writing, it's your thing, go with the theme-based books. But if you just want to teach your kid how to write and you kind of want to be a little more hands-off-ish, then you want to go with Structure and Style. I think that just kind of breaks things down. Structure and Style has completely changed our lives. Like seriously. My son wakes up 5.30 in the morning and does it. I'm not, I'm not joking. It's a little bit crazy, but he, he likes it. And Andrew Pudawa is like, he's hilarious. And I know he entertains parents as well. Now my son actually met him, so it was like starstruck. That's my little story that I like to tell. He just stared at him and he says he's used to it. <laughs> yeah, totally. I, I was a little starstruck too. I was, totally. Of course, if you want to know more about their stuff, you can click on that link down below. They also have a catalog that you can order, so you can see that, you know, sometimes getting the catalog is just, whether it's hands-on or digital, it just gives you a really good picture of everything. It shows you the steps that you can take. It's pretty straightforward, and it's a really good, useful visual tool. I hope this really helped you out with understanding the two. If you have any more questions, leave a message down in the description box below. I will be happy to answer questions about IEW, which I adore. I think I said that already. <laughs> right now, I'm gonna stick some videos on my face that you should definitely check out if you actually made it to the end of this video. I'm also gonna stick one in there about Naomi. So if you're interested in learning about our journey as we raise a daughter with special needs, and all the fun stuff that we get to go through, <laughs> click on that video and subscribe to my channel. I love hanging out with you guys. So I will see you in our next video. Bye.